Hey, what's up everybody? Sorry it's been such a long time since my last video. Uh, I've just been super busy lately with school and everything going on. A um, couple of things I want to touch on. Um, if you didn't see my community post, uh, you might notice if you go to my uh, YouTube channel homepage that I do have membership set up. Um, I honestly am not expecting a whole lot to come out of this. You know, I had a few people requesting uh, memberships or asking if I had memberships because they wanted to help support uh, what I'm doing. And if you do, that's awesome. I greatly appreciate it. But, um, you know, it's not like I'm expecting to get rich quick off of this. So um, I just want to give you a heads up. It's out there. I also have a link on my channel page for uh, buy me a coffee in case you want to go that route if you want to help donate but don't want to do a monthly membership. Um, anything is greatly appreciated. Um, again, I don't expect anything. I don't, I'm not here to um, panhandle money from you guys, um, but I, like I've said, I've had a couple people request the ability to um, help support what I'm doing, so I figure what the heck, why not? I'll, I'll throw it out there. If you guys want to, great. If not, no hard feelings. I'm not, not expecting anything. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Um, I wanted to touch a little bit more on the Nix Package Manager because I'm really enjoying this thing. It's actually a really cool tool that... Um, I've really kind of started liking. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot with it yet, um, but I've just been doing some reading and kind of doing a little bit of goofing around with it and uh, checking things out. So um, first thing I want to do is somebody had asked on one of the videos before, oh, and excuse me, by the way, I'm going to back up a second here. Um, on the videos, I'm getting lots of um, requests for, hey, can you do this video um, or a video on this? Can you cover this or that? And I really do want to get all these videos out. I want to do all this stuff for you guys. My problem is when I read them in the comments, I tend to forget about them. I'm more than happy. I tell you, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I respond to them, and yeah, I'll do that. I'd be glad to. I'd love to do that for you. Um, and then I completely forget which video it was commented on. I got to try and scroll back through my comments, um, all that good stuff. Um, so if you could, if you think about it, and you are wanting to do a specific video, could you please do me a favor and click my email link um, on my uh, homepage for YouTube? And uh, or you know you can go to my website jpedmedia.com j p e d m e d i a dot com, and you'll get a link to my email there as well. Just go ahead and shoot me an email. Um, just kind of tell me what. It doesn't have to be a long email. You can just say, hey, make a video on this, and that will help me actually kind of gather things together. And so that way, I know I can just hey, go back to my emails, check that. They'll go to a certain folder, and we'll be good to go. So if you could do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, now let's get back into it. Let's go ahead and launch a terminal. And if you remember from the last video on this, we installed the Nix package management system, kind of to help supplement what's going on in Void. Um, one of the biggest complaints people had was the fact that uh, they couldn't find certain packages and this and that. And so we kind of explored the Nix package management system and how it had some really cool features and a really cool ability to install pretty much anything that you want on Void Linux or really on just about any distribution. So I want to touch on a couple things now. Now one, one person asked me, how do you go ahead and update stuff like that? Well, let's go ahead and clear the screen and we're going to zoom in. And what you do to update is pretty simple. All you have to do is do Nix dash channel and then you go dash dash update and you hit enter and it's going to go ahead and unpack the channel. I've already done it so that's um, not going to take long. It's already done actually so um, you can see that's going to go ahead and update the channel and then what you got to do is you do a nix dash env and you're going to give it the dash u flag and go ahead and hit enter. That's going to check all your nix programs or all your programs that were installed by nix that are um, in your system there and it is going to run and see if update see if they need updates and it's going to go ahead and update them. So um, that'll take a second and it shows nothing because again I already did this earlier today and I kind of wish I hadn't so that you could see it actually on video but that's it that's it that's super simple two really easy um, commands to update what's going on with Nix again that's Nix dash channel and then a space and then dash dash update and then once that runs you do Nix dash env space dash u and that's going to update your packages so real super simple way to update your stuff on uh, Nix um, now I want to get back into something here if you remember we did this command called Nix dash shell and we gave it the dash p flag and we ran stuff like um, let's go ahead and do um, term down. Now I'm, I'm copying this because this is kind of where I learned this from a while ago. A gentleman named uh, Tom on the internet um, covered this program specifically, term down. So that it's kind of in my head right now when I did that. So Tom, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm not trying to yank your trophy or anything like that. I'm not uh, not trying to steal your your deal. It just kind of popped into my head. So then we're going to run that. Oops, not capital P. Sorry. Um, we're going to go ahead and run that with the lowercase p. We're going to hit enter. It's going to log us into the next shell, and then we can run the term down. 
command and you see we have a little countdown in the terminal there. So um, running the Nix shell, you can do this. It doesn't actually install it on your system. It sandbox it kind of so you sandboxes it kind of so you can actually try stuff out before you buy it. You know, that's a great slogan. Try it before you buy it. <laughs> but um, let's hit control C and that'll be done. Let's go ahead and clear the screen and we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And if you remember now, if we run term down, not term to one, term down, you can see we don't have it installed. Well, we ran into an issue with this, right? So let's try and do, um, let's do nix-shell-p and let's do Vivaldi. Cause if you remember on the last video, Vivaldi was non-free. So it actually didn't want to install for us. So if we run that, you can see, oh, we get errors. Package Vivaldi um, basically says that it is refusing to evaluate because it has an unfree license. Well, there is a way around this and you have little notes here. And if you scroll all the way down here, it says for Nix and V, Nix build and Nix shell or any other Nix command, you can add allow unfree equals true to this configuration file right here. So let's go ahead and do that. That is gonna be your home.config, Nix PKGS, Nix packages, and then config.nix. So let's go ahead and clear the screen and let's go ahead and make that directory. So we are going to do a MKDIR and we're gonna do home, not exclamation point, home, dot config and then we're going to do nix pkgs and hit enter so now we've created this directory home jake dot config nix packages so let's go ahead and press up we're going to do control a to jump to the front of the line we are going to replace make dir with cd or di i guess and we are going to cd into that now what we're going to do is we're going to vim and we're going to make, create a configuration file um, now do you remember what that was called i believe it was config dot nix and we're going to hit enter and there you go it's going to give you this file right here it's going to tell you syntax error unexpected end of file but don't worry about that go into insert mode we're going to hit enter a couple times and right here we're going to do a squirrely brace and we're going to do allow and then capital u n f r e e and then we're going to do equals true we're going to hit the excellent or the uh, semicolon and we are going to close that out and we are going to write and quit and if we then uh cat out that uh, config.nix and hit enter, you can see this is what we have in it. Allow unfree equals true. Now there's a way to get around doing this um, and you can do this as a one-time thing as opposed to allowing it for everything and we'll go over that in a second. But uh, once we have that in there now, what we can do is let's go ahead and go home um, and let's clear the screen. And now let's try that nix environment or nix shell command again. Now we have nix-shell-p Vivaldi and we're gonna hit enter. And I know this works and um, because I tried it earlier today, but now let's do Vivaldi and hit enter. And you can see we have Vivaldi up and going. There's no error that pops up. It actually launches the Vivaldi browser because now even though it has that non-free license, um, we've added allow non-free um, in our config.nix file for our Nix packages. So if there's stuff you want, um, another one is like VS Code. If you use VS Code for any type of uh, uh, coding or anything like that, then um, that's the same way you can install it via um, I believe that's the same way. I might be wrong. Uh, don't don't quote me on that. But um, anything that's non-free, basically, you can do that. Now there is a way you can go about. So let's go ahead and close that out. Yes, I want to exit, and let's go ahead and exit out of here. Now again, if we do Vivaldi and hit enter, you can see we don't have it installed. So uh, let's go ahead and clear the screen. There's another way you can do that. You can just do export and then do allow unfree equals true. Um, I believe just like that and hit enter just for the one time and that'll be like a one time use um, to allow um, unfree packages that one time. So um, that is how you can go ahead and do that. Um, you can get your un un um, unfree packages. Now let's go ahead and go to workspace number two here. Let's launch a uh, browser and let's go to, why did it launch twice? Anyway, let's uh, control L to jump up in the uh, URL bar there and let's go to Nix. Um, that's not the right page I want to go to, is it? Uh, Nix OS manual. No, let's go to learn and we are going to go to first steps with Nix. Um, and then we're going to click on learn and now we are where we need to be. And we're going to go to the Nix packages manual and you can see you can configure Nix packages. Um, and so the file that we just edited that allowed us to do unfree right here, you can see, uh, this is actually in the configuration.nix for Nix OS, but 
Um, if we go to global configuration and we go to like installing unfree packages, you can see right here. Um, you can have it a couple of, in there a couple different ways. Allow unfree predicate equals package false. Uh, this operation, this option is a function which allows a package as a parameter and returns a boolean. Um, you can go through and specify which packages you want to go ahead and be able to install that are unfree. Um, so there's a lot you can do here. Um, you can install insecure packages. Um, you can modify packages via package overrides. Um, there's just a whole lot going on here. So if you're really seriously interested in trying the Nix package management system on Void Linux or any other distribu distribution, I would highly suggest you actually kind of go through here and sit down with the documentation. Um, read through it, kind of get a grasp of what's going on because it is really a cool tool I, call, I keep calling it a tool it's really its own kind of ecosystem and it's it's just an amazing uh, amazing um again i'm going to call it a tool because I, that's how i'm using it um but it's it's really cool and i'm really thoroughly enjoying it so there might be some future videos coming up on me checking out nix os i'm not quite sure yet um but everybody's uh, talking about it it's you know it's the wave of the future is what i'm hearing and <laughs> everybody's going to it and you know, so I'm, I'm on the fence as to which I want to hit first, uh, Nix OS, Gen 2, or uh, Hyperland Window Manager, which seems to be the, the big thing, too, with, with Wayland. Um, you know, I did do quite a while back on a couple of videos on the Hyper uh, window manager which was the precursor to hyperland and the dev that's doing this is, is a great he's a great job doing this stuff and hyperland looks really cool um, i've played around with it a little bit on my arctic setup um, but not so much on the void setup i don't know if i'll try and get it installed on void um, i did attempt once but i'm having an issue with x wayland server um, it's not a uh, current enough um, package for it so i don't know we'll just see what happens but that's kind of what i've got going on um and yeah so keep uh keep watching and hopefully you see something you like coming up here and again uh, by all means if you want to help support my channel great i greatly appreciate it um you know uh you don't have to do it monetarily um, i accept likes and subscribes and shares and best of all prayers um, i'm praying for all you i love you guys all you guys have a great rest of your evening god bless